Hello guys, it's WazzyTZK and today we're going to be playing some Black Ops 6 Zombies. We're going to be using the knife only. We're doing knife only challenge, I don't know how well this is actually going to go. But uh, yeah, you can actually pack a punch a knife for some reason. So I just thought, may as well try a knife only one. I've never actually really tried the knife, to be honest. But yeah, you get less points with the knife as well, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, that's the problem as well. You're going to lose a lot of armor plates. The manglers are going to absolutely burn through your armor plates. But, I mean, we'll just see how far we can get to. I mean, I feel like I might be able to do 20 rounds. I'm not sure about any higher. Yeah, I just realized as well, um, Meli Machiato, or however the hell you say it, is actually going to be quite good. I hear people call it Machiato, Machiato, so I have honestly no idea how you even say it. And yeah, normally at this stage I would start building a jet gun, but to be fair we can't even use that. In fact, what I am going to do, I'm just going to get rid of all my grenades, just throw them over there just so I can't use them. I am going to use armor plates, but I can't use grenades. Oh, look at that, I leveled up my knife. <laughs> even though you get no attachments for it, but I don't even see the point of leveling up your knives, though. Do we have a gobble gun... No, I wanted the shield one. In fact, I don't even know if I want to use gobble gums, because that's technically cheating, isn't it? So, I mean, I could probably use insta-kill, to be fair, but apart from that, anything that doesn't benefit my knife, I won't use, really. I've got no armor plates either, which means I'm going to have to craft, like, a bunch of them. This is the thing as well, I think my most of my salvage is going to go to armor plates and self-revives, because I know I will go down. Right, let's go for some juggernaut. This will definitely help, like, significantly. Yeah, and again, I don't have any armor plates. My knife doesn't even drop any. I get salvage from the zombies, but I don't even get any armor plates. Oh, well, speaking of armor, we actually got the armor power up. I keep mistaking it for max ammo. They, they do need to name it differently. So I keep getting that mixed up with max ammo. Well, we've got a ton of scrap in here on these crystals. So we can actually use this to make more armor. Oh yeah, this is a free hit kill now. Yeah, this is a free hit kill. Brilliant. That's going to make my life so much easier. Yeah, and you see, this is the thing, right? Because, look, when I stab a zombie, I don't actually get points for it. I only get points for actually killing them. Which, again, it's just annoying. It does definitely make it a lot slower, especially if you're using melee only. But yeah, I do. I, that's why I do prefer the old system. Well, we can definitely upgrade now, so let's do that. Yeah, it's a one-hit kill now, but it's not going to be for very long, I don't think. I'll probably give it like a couple of rounds and it'll end up being a two-hit kill. Ooh, double points. Nice. What a perfect time to go on a murdering spree. Right, so we buy some Mali Machiato and see what this does. Oh, you get 500 damage from that Zed. Okay, I don't know what damage numbers were before, but I think it does actually give you extra damage. Yeah, 1,700 damage I just did to that spider. Jesus. Yeah, you see, that's the thing as well. I don't really like the damage numbers. It doesn't really fit in the game. I'm going to have to buy this because I don't have any other choice. I'm going to get stuck. We're literally like 50 points away as well from getting this. Right, we got it. This should help with healing like a lot more. Although the augments are only for multiplayer, it's pretty good for healing. How much damage does this do? Oh my god, it actually does some alright damage. It actually does good damage, what the hell? I'm sorry, but how the hell does a tier 1 knife do that much damage? Like, I was genuinely not expecting that much. Maybe it is actually possible after all to get to a high round with only a knife. The thing is, I never really used a knife in Black Ops 6. I tend to just use guns, but... No, maybe this might be a good alternative. I'll tell you what, it could do. We could end up buying, um stamina up at some point because I do need to run away from this crowd. You know when things start getting bad, it's like nearly dying. I could probably use some stamina up to run away from them. But I mean apart from that, there's not really any other perks that could be useful. I mean, I would have put double XP on this match because I do have some tokens, but to be fair I didn't know how long I was going to survive for. So I thought I wouldn't really bother. And to be fair, I could use the double weapon XP, but yeah, I don't really have any attachments to unlock this um, knife, so it's pretty pointless. We could definitely get to tier 2, like, probably by round 15. We are racking up some decent monies. Wait, can you upgrade the nice rarity? Oh, you can. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I actually completely forgot about the rarity system. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, I actually completely forgot about rarities, but... This is going to make it a lot stronger. 3,000 damage, Jesus. 
2,200. I mean, it's very inconsistent, the damage, but you get some decent damage, and I'm not going to lie. And the problem is, we're going to need a lot of salvage, because, I mean, if I go down, I'm going to need to craft myself a self revive or something. But, yeah, the fact I was using, like, a grey tier knife at tier 1, and it was doing, like, 300 damage is pretty good. Speaking of that, we can actually pack a punch this, tier 2. Again, like I was mentioning before, I'm not a fan of the hit marker system, like telling you how much damage you have. But, I mean, to be fair, it is useful at the same time because, you know, you can find out which guns are the best, which one's the worst, what does the most damage. So, although I'm not a fan of Black Ops 6's entire system, it is pretty useful in its own way. Ten? Did I just see a 10,000 damage? Yeah, I'm actually doing like 10,000 damage. I love how we haven't seen another Mangler yet because they know we're go they're just going to get absolutely shredded <laughs> by a knife. They are going to get absolutely destroyed. You see, again, I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to go for tier 2 armour. I mean, to be fair, you're just going to lose it either way, aren't you? You're typically going to burn through armour, which means you're going to use more armour if you upgrade it. I forget now, how much is it for purple tier? Two and a half thousand and seven and a half. Wait, if I use my pistol, my pistol's nine thousand to fully upgrade it to gold. Yet my knife is um, seven and a half. Interesting. Shall I try doing an X fill? <laughs> Do you think? I might. I might actually try it at some point. Try an X fill with only a knife. I'll have to see how well it does against the abomination first. But I might actually try and do an X fill using only a knife. Exports are kind of difficult on this game as well. Like, they're a lot harder than Cold War, so could be worth giving it a go. Oh, speaking of abomination. Oh my god, no, why am I outside? Why did I do that? That's the worst decision I've ever done. Yeah, just ignore that um, massive mistake I just made. Yeah, I got 4,600 damage on that um, zombie. But if I take this now, let's see what it does. What does this do now? Yeah, like 8,000, it doubles the damage. God damn it, I can't believe I went down before. That was so stupid. That was actually so dumb. Oh no! Oh, it stunned me a little bit, but I managed to get out of there. <laughs> Jesus. I was trying to get around there before he, like, ran into me. It stunned me a little bit. It only just got out of that. Surprising I didn't take too much damage. Does this knife actually do anything? Oh, it does actually do some okay damage. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, when he does that range attack it's going to be absolutely deadly so I can't really do much. Oh it opens this area, oh nice, oh right, with that bank I thought it only opened one door and you had to buy the other one but no it actually opens the other area, cool. Tell you what I am going to do though, I am going to buy some stamina up just so I can actually outrun something, got to, you know you got to go prone on that perk as well just to get your extra hundred. Yes we got him. Although he only drops ammo, which isn't very useful, but we still got the abomination. Another one's probably going to spawn anyway, but... Oh, there's the mangler as well, so we can easily shred them. We haven't seen them for a while, either. <laughs> the zombie! Wait, what? There's a zombie inside the car. What? Okay, I've never actually seen that before. I was just running away from the other zombies. I've seen a zombie inside of a car. That's interesting. I've actually seen that before. Just got to run away from this. Holy crap! I just one hit killed him. I literally just one hit killed a mangler with a knife. What? Why have I not used this knife sooner? Like, Jesus. I still can't believe that. Knife did so much damage. That is crazy. Like literally one swipe, the, the mangler is just dead. You can't get that with the old zombies, I'm telling you. It would take like 20 hits to kill one. But with this, it's just one swipe done. You know, and his poor remains still remain here. His memory still lives on in terms of a hellstorm. Like my my armor's not even being affected at all, so there's not any point buying tier 2 armor. Literally my health keeps going down instead of my armor. So, I've still got the same amount of armor plates as I have last game. Yeah, I think we just need as much salvage as we can without trying to die. Without trying to die, yeah, I was trying to risk that there. Do we need a lot of salvage to get this at least purple tier? We, we're definitely not getting gold, let's be honest. The amount of salvage alone, like 7,500 is crazy. Oh, why? I shouldn't have done it. I was getting a bit risky there, but I swear my knife doesn't even hit half the time. Like, you literally knife them, it just doesn't do anything. Can't really knife me even, there's a group of them. Bit like that. Oh no. No! What the fu- Also, why am I not gone down yet? Why, I'm on solo, so why- Who am I waiting for? Right. 
what what is going on here? Yeah, to be fair, I could have done a lot better, but I mean, spiders did sort of screw me over. That is one of the difficult things about this challenge. The spiders do hit like hell. Can be a bit difficult to hit with just a knife. But I mean, I'm actually generally surprised. Knife actually did some decent damage. But um, yeah, if you ever want a melee weapon to use instead of um, guns and ammo, then take the knife. It's actually quite good. And nice to we actually got our 250 eliminations as well. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join Discord if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.